Hypixel is the biggest Minecraft multiplayer server in the world, with about 50,000 players playing on the server every day. The server is massive, but this wasn't always the case. From adventure maps to stiff competition to utter dominance of the Minecraft multiplayer scene, Hypixel has seen it all when it comes to playing Minecraft online. So let's look at the development of Hypixel from early days to now, looking at the five biggest reasons why it's so huge, and why Hypixel is the biggest server on the planet. Also, if you subscribe, I'll fill your sub box with interesting and funny Minecraft content forever and ever. Maybe. So subscribe and enjoy! Hypixel began as an adventure map server, but developed into a multiplayer powerhouse. How did this happen? Well, Hypixel first introduced minigames to the server for players to play while they waited for others. But the minigames themselves began to gain popularity, and so Hypixel began to pivot towards developing minigames for the server instead of adventure maps. This is reason one, because Simon, the owner of the Hypixel, Pixel server was smart enough to realize the mini games were better for the server than the adventure maps and left his passion of creating adventure maps as a result which ended up being an incredibly smart decision this kept the server growing and growing to where it is today but if this change never happened and this one decision was not made then hypixel as a server may never have come to fruition changing not just minecraft online but Minecraft culture as a whole. People like Tommy Innit and Technoblade may have never became the YouTubers they are today, and games like Bed Wars and Sky Wars, which are adored by the community, may have never reached the popularity that they have today. Again, I can't stress this enough. This one decision changed Minecraft forever. As Hypixel began to gain popularity, it came into conflict with other big servers at the time, most notably Mineplex. Hypixel and Mineplex shared the top spot as the most popular servers in Minecraft for a while, but Hypixel eventually won the battle of the servers. This is reason too. But how did they win? And why did Mineplex fall so hard? Well, Hypixel had created incredible game modes like the aforementioned Bed Wars, but whenever they took inspiration from another game mode from elsewhere, they always put their own spin on it, sometimes even improving the game modes. Whereas Mineplex had some good game modes too, but were plagued by bugs and glitches, and were hardly ever updated, leading to a discontented community compared to the Hypixel community. Mineplex also rarely produced original minigames, and when they did, they never quite hit the same heights as those on the Hypixel server. As well as this, Mineplex staff were going through some issues, and so the server was somewhat uncared for. Because of Mineplex issues and Hypixel's consistency and love of their community, Hypixel won the battle of the servers and hasn't let go since. I have to admit, I was a Mineplex player back then, but I'd like to think I've come to my senses and I only really play on Hypixel now because I don't need any other server really. Everything I want is on Hypixel. However, there are, of course, other servers that Hypixel has contended with, like the Hive when it was still on Java, and more recently servers like Cube crap, but Hypixel is so successful because it was able to take their audiences, or at least split them to both servers, earning more popularity. One of these game modes that Hypixel put their own unique spin on was Skyblock, released in June 2019. Yeah, that long ago. Skyblock sees players use an island in the middle of a void, attempt to gather as many resources as they can, and thrive in exceedingly unlikely circumstances. This is reason 3 as to why Hypixel is so popular compared to the other Minecraft servers, because this this game mode alone launched Hypixel into unknown territory in terms of Minecraft server popularity, breaking player records and server records along the way, like most active players at over 200,000 at one time. Hypixel Skyblock was different though, because players could enter an online hub, allowing them to interact with other players online and develop their islands in a totally unique way, almost as if Skyblock was a complete game within Minecraft itself. The game mode had no specific end goal and allows players to create and complete their own goals and aspirations. The grind of Skyblock is what makes it so attractive, and what separates it from other Skyblocks, which have addictive aspects too, but there is just so much more content to grind in Hypixel Skyblock, creating a genuinely unique game mode that is as addictive a game as I have ever seen. As well as this, Hypixel Skyblock contains unique items, such as Dragon Armor, which can only be attainable through Hypixel Skyblock. This strengthens the sense of community around Hypixel Skyblock, as not only do they 
have base Minecraft items such as diamond armor, Hypixel Skyblock contains dragon armor, as well as a bunch of other items which are unique to the game mode, like slate, I mean minions. This brings a whole new dimension into base Minecraft and allows players to collect items that they would normally never be able to attain in normal Minecraft, creating a completely new game mode, completely different to any other server. This game mode is incredible. And what comes with an incredible game? People who want to play it. A lot. The fourth factor is social media usage, and there's no doubting that this could genuinely be the most influential factor in this whole list, apart from maybe number five. The obvious thing to mention here is YouTubers like Technoblade, who have grown to millions of subscribers and started out and continue to play and stream on Hypixel. In particular, Technoblade's series of videos on the Hypixel Potato War are amazing, and his commentaries on his life over footage of him clapping Skywars lobbies is nothing short of hilarious. This relationship works both ways, with Techno having a brilliant game to play and Hypixel getting exposure from Techno, boosting the server's popularity in the process. Not only this, but Hypixel's promotion on Twitter and other social media platforms really helps to build hype around the new releases on the server and subliminally puts Hypixel in the back of your mind. So when you log onto Minecraft later that day, you're more likely to play Hypixel than other servers. It sounds dumb, but it's true, and it works very well. No matter what game mode you prefer on Hypixel, there is a content creator which specializes in that specific area of Minecraft. Okay, maybe not something like Smash Heroes, but there are definitely plenty of videos on it, which stands to the point here, which is that content creators help to build hype in Hypixel and maintain a community around Hypixel all year round. Lastly, and maybe the most important factor, is how Hypixel keeps evolving to keep with the times. This is thanks to both a dedicated set of admins and a winning mindset, which lets Hypixel as a server stay ahead of the game. Examples like Sky Block and Bed Wars are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to innovations made by Hypixel in the online multiplayer scene, as they keep pushing to make interesting and fun games for their players. They haven't stagnated with the times like Mineplex did, they kept ahead of the curve, so when a new game releases that you've never played before, or a game with a fun spin on it, and you really enjoy it, it was probably on the Hypixel server. Hypixel has also evolved to attempt to provide for every kind of Minecraft player, whether that be hardcore survival OGs, minigame fanatics, or parkour runners, Hypixel has you covered in almost every area of Minecraft, allowing it to tap into more or less every Minecraft player there is, expanding the reach of the server. Hypixel loves events as well, like skyblock updates or live occasions, which really build hype and get loads of people online at the one time, which almost no other server does. And when they do, they never execute it in the same way that Hypixel does, showing how Hypixel is a step above the rest. So, to recap, Hypixel has dominated the Minecraft multiplayer server scene through pivoting towards minigame development, beating out Mineplex, developing a spin on Skyblock, social media presence, and through evolving with the times, especially compared to other servers. This is how Hypixel has dominated the Minecraft multiplayer scene for years now, and honestly, I don't expect any change to come anytime soon. And I hope it doesn't, because I'm coming for that sweet, sweet YouTuber rank. But until then, I'll remain a rankless schmuck. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.